Alright, this is my N-Scale Ingle Nook made out of Cato Unitrack. Um, it's a little bit messy because I've been doing some retrofitting and I just finished building a, a kit. This little car right here needs some repairs to the side frame and the, the grab irons and uh, steps. But we're going to try and play a little game with the Ingle Nook. This is a, there's my little Bachman switcher. This is a 3 3 5 Ingle Nook. So that means that these two sidings have capacity for three cars, and this one has capacity for five cars. And up here, where the little Bachman is, it has room from the points here to the end of the track for three cars plus the little switcher. And then this other branch represents the main line and my big road switcher just came in and dropped off these two cars at the center. So I have cards made up for Let's adjust the little uh, tripod here. I have cards made up whoops, <laughs> with my card colors on them and I've already shuffled these so I'm picking three and the first three cards will be the cars that need to be spotted right here where these two currently are. So this would be the industry track with there should be a building here. We can put some boxes in there to re represent the building. Okay, and the cars are going to get spotted along that industry. These would be the off spot cars, and then this would be the outgoing. Whatever was pulled out of here would be outgoing there. So I pulled, picked my three cards. We got yellow, and we'll put them in this order on that spur. We got black and orange. Now, none of those three are currently on our spot in our in our uh, spur that we want to have cars coming in. So, it, when I get them spotted, I want them to be yellow towards the camera, black, and then orange. So what I Fortunately, the black and orange are already in order, but I need to go dig them out of where they're at. A little uncoupling pick, and we'll move the pencil out of the way. Okay, we're coupled up to that. We'll have our conductor come down here and uncouple us from this black gondola. Okay, we'll move forward and pick up the white and yellow. We'll go ahead and pull all three of those cars. So now, we have our cars in order, right, yellow, black, and orange, on oh, these guys. This has shelf, shelves over the couplers, so it's 
that's a little tricky to get in there. So now what I want to do is I want to pull the other cars that are in our spots where we want to go. And we need to stop and let our conductor get off and throw this switch for us. Okay, we have room for three cars. So, that's going to make our pickup a little tricky, isn't it? See, I may move three cars, but I had room for four there, didn't I? So I don't know if that's breaking the rules or not, but... That's the way it is. We'll make whatever moves we can. Breaking the rules of the angle nook. If I built this right, like I said, supposedly we only have room for three cars up there on that spur. But I'm going to try pulling all four. Let's see what happens. Ooh, careful there. Well, we don't have enough, well, we do have enough room, but we shouldn't have enough room. So my ingle nook is not constructed right. But I had to add this little filler piece right here. See if you can see that. No, not quite. Uh, back up here. I had to add this little piece between these two switches because power is transmitted to whichever branch through the points on these switches. And to feed everything, I had to have it in between these two because I don't have any feeders out here I've just got this one set of feeder wires so that makes this a little bit too long we'll, we'll do it right way so I can pull these two out but I don't have room for this third guy so we're gonna, we're gonna say we don't have room for this guy this is my first time using a coupling pick too so now we've got room we're gonna go in and push those guys in into their spots or get them on the track anyway pick up this orange car oh. Oh, there you go. So I'll put him on the our actual spot track
Okay, now I'm going to pull the three cars that we have room for. In my original scenario, for the next next round of car switching moves, whatever cars were here on spot, we'll take these cards out, and these will all have to be pulled. Any cars that we left here on this track are considered off spot. They will have to be spotted here on the industry track, and then the other cars here will be considered pulled and put back with from the main line. So we're going to pull these three cars because that's all we have room for in our game rules. And we'll push them onto our outgoing track for now. Okay, and then we have one more move to get the orange car back to where it belongs. So, what we have to do, whoops, is run down in here. Pull the orange car out. Pull this orange car out. We'll have to go grab those two. Because our customer wants these in a certain order. Come on. Oh, I don't like these little Bachman couplers. They're Way oversized. I like the micro trains. Way better. They're way oversized. They don't couple right to the micro trains. Still need to paint this, but that's what I spent today fiddling around with was airbrush problems. And I guess it doesn't pay to use a 15 year old airbrush. It probably wasn't cleaned when it was <laughs> put away. <laughs> okay. So, now we got our three cars in order of our cards, and we have one off spot car. So, in our next session, these three cars, these cards will be out, they have to be pulled. Okay, we are on spot. And he will have to be spotted, but I will pick two more cards. I have to pull his card out of, out of the pile here. Here is gray. Okay. So, and I'll pick two more cards for the next session out of my random deck. And green and brown. So we know these guys, so these are my order for my next session. These cards can go back in, we'll shuffle them up, and you're ready to ready to play again. So at night, you get home from work, you want to want something to do, you can shuffle your cards. You got your, actually, I got my next operating session all set up here. We're ready to go.